I've spent the majority of my life trying to fit into a mold created by society, heavily influenced by others who thought they had it all figured out. Lately though, I've just been getting lost and honestly, I've never been happier. It seems the further I get from society, the less anxiety I feel. It gets worse every day. Problems here, there, everywhere. Eventually, it just all blurs together and turns into noise. Fishing is just another way of escaping that reality. Hello my friend, welcome to this beautiful lake in the mountains. This is my first attempt at fishing, so you better be nice, this is a learning experience. I backed my truck right down to the lake, kind of at an angle, so I probably won't camp here tonight just because I'll be sleeping on my side all night, but I think this is a perfect place to start my first fishing experience. So what do we have here? I know you guys are gonna wanna know. I'm using a Meps Aguila lure. Don't quote me on the pronunciation. The box claimed it was the number one lure in the world. We're gonna test that claim out today and see how many fish I can catch when this professional like myself puts it to test. <laughs> I still can't say lure. Lure, lure, lure. This is a lure for all of you who didn't know. A Meps Aguila lure. And we're gonna put it to test. This lure right here has three hooks, but I have to crimp each hook down because you can't fish here without crimping your barbs. I put three weights on the end to help weigh the lure down into the water. I don't know if that'll be enough. We'll find out. Okay, so enough about the lure. Let's talk more about the rod that I'm using today. I got a retractable fishing pole. Number one reason being I really just want to be able to stick it in my pack when I'm hiking and put it away and not worry about carrying it. I'm definitely going to get another rod sooner than later, but this I thought was perfect to start with and I can pack it away lightly. Here we go. This is easier than it looks, just so you know. Okay, so now that I have my guides lined up and my rod fully extended, I'm going to flip this back over, put some tension on the line, and then I think I'm gonna be ready to fish. I just have to get my hook set up and crimp the barbs on the hook. Okay, so now that I have my fishing rod fully extended, my guides lined up and the hooks crimped on my lure. We're gonna test this lure out and see how many fish I can catch. <laughs> I think I caught a rock. I'm gonna have to wait out and unhook it, so. <laughs> Good news, I got my lure back and I think I found the source of the problem. It's only about a foot or two deep where I cast, so I think I'm gonna have to walk out there and then cast so that it's a little bit deeper. Fishing has made me realize that acquiring your own food is harder than I thought. Our ancestors spent most of their lives hunting, fishing, and gathering. And after trying to catch a fish for three days, I think it's fair to say that a significant portion of the population would starve if they had to forage, hunt, or grow their own food. Since today, we've traded all of our primitive skill sets for strong thumbs to scroll smartphones. Different tools for different times. So the fish won't come to me, so I'm going to them, but the sun's going down really fast, so I had to pump up my paddleboard really quickly. I'm gonna paddle out for a little night sesh. Let's go. 
No boat, use a paddleboard. And no, I did not hook my watercraft. Too bad though, I didn't catch a fish on here. It would have put my balancing skills to test. So I didn't catch a fish tonight, but I did get to see this beautiful sunset. I have to find a place to camp and then I'll come back tomorrow morning and try again. So I threw a bobber on my lure. I think you're probably supposed to use bobbers for live bait, but since I'm a beginner, I can't really cast that far. I'm hoping that the wind will pull my lure further out into the lake, into a deeper area, increasing the chance of catching fish. That's my scientific approach. sure there's any fish in here. <laughs> and I think the birds agreed. Here's all the birds and their bird buddies laughing at me. They're saying this girl's never gonna catch a fish. I think I'm gonna sit down. I need a book. I know, a book on how to fish. <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> if I never tried it can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game well it's day three and I still haven't caught a fish I was heading down south and came across this small fishing pond so I stopped at Walmart to grab another rod to increase my chances and luck would have it that the third time's the charm finally caught my first fish super excited this awesome gentleman right here helped me out and gave me an earthworm and I was able to get this cool guy right here. <laughs> First fish! We're gonna put him back in the water now so we don't hurt him. looks like a rainbow trout. They make every fishing lure under the sun. Sparkly, flashing, glow in the dark, nuclear. So many doodads, it's unreal. It's almost overwhelming. When I went into the fishing store, I was like, oh my gosh, where do I start? But I went into three different fishing stores and every single person told me a different recommendation. And I tried each recommendation and I still failed. But on the third day, I was successful. This is the secret, good old fashioned earthworms. They're a little bit slimy, but so tasty. I might just eat one myself. I, just kidding. <laughs> these are for the fish, not for me. But I am really happy that these little guys helped me out because I almost gave up on fishing. Thanks so much for watching my fishing journey. I'm sorry it took so long. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future adventures and watch my previous videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.